I am genuinely so angry. I don't know how to process this. So many deaf friends because I couldn't stand to be friends with the other people in school. First off, your captions don't match your words. Second off, most of your videos aren't captioned at all. You say that you love us and want to break down those communication barriers, but you refuse to caption and then block the deaf creators who try to call you out. Sorry to inform you, sweetheart, you're the one setting up those communication barriers. Not to mention she said this. For context, the person that she's talking about is my friend who is deaf. She has a right to talk about her own community. And we haven't even talked about the tokenizing yet. It's literally too much for me to cover in one minute, so I'm going to post a part two soon. Part two, let's talk about tokenizing. So we're going to review some of the reasons that's not only wrong, but really cringy. First off, it's clear you have a big hearing savior complex. We are not children. Don't infantilize us. Second off, saying that your deaf friend said that it was okay is really similar to telling a racist joke and then claiming that your black friend thought it was funny. One person does not represent the whole community. Also, you're not a savior. You don't even caption your videos. So go ahead and take several seats and go home. Apparently this bitch thinks I'm not serious. Am I a fucking joke to you? With everything going on, you decide to post another video without captions? Fuck off! Oh my god. You done? So, the sob story was cute, but I noticed you didn't talk about why you haven't posted captions. I'm listening. Let's talk about tone policing. Anyone who knows me knows that I approach everything with kindness and education first. So if you see something different from me, there's a reason. Aspen56 wants to play the victim and say that we never tried to educate her. Are you sure about that? I have receipts. So, here's what my friend said. And some of her responses. You might want to pause to read. And don't forget she said this. Maybe you're used to batting your eyelashes and getting away with everything, but I know manipulation. You can't fool me. Oh my god, y'all have got to see this. A little bit of background context. The person you're about to see recently got called out for profiting off the deaf community and still refusing to caption her videos. And this was her response. So, we tell you you're doing something wrong and ask you to respect our community, and that's your response? Girl, you're digging your own grave, and it's getting deeper by the minute. And the solution is so simple. Stop digging. I got shit to say. Rosalie and Aspen56 are trying to play the victim of this situation, but let me tell you what's actually happening. We called out Aspen56 first and foremost for refusing to caption her videos while still profiting off the deaf community. That's not bullying. That's accountability. All of the videos I've posted so far have not talked about her signing. If you want me to talk about the quality of her signs, I can, but so far I haven't. So Rosalie, I know why you're defending her. You look at Aspen56 and you see yourself. Aren't you the one who tried to hex the deaf community? Backlash and bullying are not the same thing. And what a coincidence, I have more to say too. I've been gaslit too many times in my life for me to tolerate it here. Rosalie is intentionally misrepresenting the situation because she wants to defend somebody who is exactly as ableist as she is. 
Aspen56 has said that she taught and lectured about ASL and is involved in the TikTok Creator Fund, but now she's saying she just loves the language and never claimed to be a professional. Neither of you can hide behind the three or four deaf people that you know. You both sign like somebody who started learning three weeks ago, and you're still on social media claiming to be an authority on the language. Uh-uh. Sit down.